Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Ray, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through the setup process for the Google Assistant Smart Displays. The device I have here is the Lenovo Smart Display 7, but this setup process actually works across the entire range with the Nest Hub, the Nest Hub Max, and any other Google Assistant Smart Display that's out there. I've got a full list of devices that are available, so make sure you check the video description below. With that, let's get started. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Now, of course, the hardware setup of all of these devices is gonna be completely different, but the software is. All you have to do is make sure you take it out of the box, plug it in, and it'll run through the initial setup process. And then it'll prompt you to download the Google Home app from the Play Store or the App Store if you're running on iOS. So I have it pre-installed right now on my phone. And then when I open the application, it's gonna show me that I have one device to set up. So I'm gonna tap that right there. And then you choose the location if you have a house, an office, things like that, depending on where you want this installed. So we're going to hit next, and then it's going to search the network for the device. And this will take a couple seconds, but then it will show me that I have the Google Assistant Smart Display by Lenovo right there. Tap it and hit next again. And then this is going to do a verification code setup just to make sure that you're setting up the right device if you have multiple ones that you're trying to set up at the same time. So this is gonna say it's connected. And then as you can see there, the codes on both screens are the same and then tap yes. And then yes, I'm in. And from here, you're gonna select which room that you want this in. This allows you to easily dictate voice commands and say, uh, do something on the device in the kitchen or the bedroom, things like that. So this one here, we're actually gonna be setting up in the kitchen. So we're gonna select that. And then this one here, we get to the Wi-Fi network. This is the Wi-Fi network we want to attach to. So we're going to try to connect to that. And from the phone's password, it's going to pass that along to the smart display. So you actually don't need to enter the login information in the smart display, which is really convenient when you have a long, secure password. This should take about 15, 20 seconds. Now it says it is connected. And then these are the usual what you can do, parental controls, service policy, guests on Google Assistant. Uh, if you wanna read through any of that information or just tap next at the very bottom. And then this is gonna do a voice match verification. If you have multiple people using the Google Assistant uh, that have Google accounts, this can match them to their specific accounts. So if you have calendar appointments or you wanna ask for time to the office for Google Maps traffic information, it will recognize the voice and give you the appropriate information. I already have this set up, so it's gonna skip it for me. Um, and then just hit agree at the bottom. And then this next screen allows you to sync up the different music services that you might be subscribed to. I have YouTube Music and Google Play Music, but there are other options down here as well. And then it's gonna jump over to a default music player. So if you don't specify which music player you want music to be played through, it's gonna select the default one. And then there are radio services as well, and then video services, since this can show video on the screen as well. You'll also be able to personalize the photo frame if you want. If you have Google Photos set up, you can choose various photo albums to display as the background on the photo frame. So I'm gonna simply select one of our Instagram folders there and then hit continue and done. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. To help you get started, I'd like to show you a few things you can do with your new smart display. So that's all we need to do with the phone. Now all we need to do is walk through the tutorial on the display itself. So we're gonna tap, First, let's go. swipe down from the top of the screen. So swiping down this from the top. This is where you can find and control devices in your smart home. Any smart home devices you add to the Google Home app will show up here. You can come back later to explore. Now swipe up to close this view. Next, I'll show you where to find settings. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This is where you can control some of the settings for this device. Screen brightness, volume, and a few other things. To hide these controls, swipe down. Now that we've talked about swiping, let's look at some things you can see on your screen. 
To check out your day, tap anywhere on the screen. Throughout the day, I'll have new things here for you, anything from what's on your calendar, to top hits on YouTube. To see more of what I have for you, swipe from right to left. Almost done, you can ask me all sorts of questions, and I'll do my best to get you an answer. Try asking me how to bake croissants on YouTube. Show me how to bake croissants on YouTube. Sure, here are some videos. When you want to go back, or exit, you can swipe from the left edge. Go ahead and give it a try. Great job! That's all I have for now, so I'll let you have some fun and explore on your own. Just as a final tip, if you want to learn more, you can always ask me, what can you do? Bye for now! So that's going to do it for the setup process, uh, but we're going to say that last command. What can you do? Try saying, where is my first meeting this weekend, or when is sunset in Chennai? So this is the best way to find out everything that the display can actually do. There are a lot of different cards here that walk you through some of the different functionalities that you can do with voice commands or with the gestures and the controls with the touch screen. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of different options out here. So uh, definitely take some time to explore the different features that are available. And that's gonna do it for the setup process for the Google Assistant Smart Display. If you have any questions during the setup process or run into any issues, be sure to jump down into the comments and let us know and we'll try to help out as best we can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much and we'll catch you in the next one.